Hey everybody, welcome to Hot Topics. My name is Matthew. And I'm Kevin. I'm here to talk about movies. Beer. 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 Uh, today we're continuing our pandemic special. Pandemic special. <laughs> um, today uh, we're finally on the uh, network where you can actually watch the pandemic special. Exactly. Um, which is HBO Max. Yeah. Um, we... <laughs> There's a lot. There's a lot. Well, it, as far as movies go, there's, there's a ton. Yes. And I could literally spend, you know, less time talking about award-winning movies that aren't on HBO. <laughs> yeah. There's just so many, yeah. so many great movies. Um, but yeah, talking about HBO Max, talking about movies, some of their series. They have uh, some stuff that I was actually surprised about them having and super excited about, so now i got to get an HBO Max subscription yeah. for my own bedroom. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. But, uh, we're also talking about the beer, uh, Captain Dynamite IPA. Uh, it just sounded like a cool name. We, like, we like cool names, too. And cool artworks. <laughs> and the artwork's actually pretty rad. Right it's really, it's really cool. Yeah. It's going up on the wall. Yeah, yeah, that one's definitely going to be on the wall. Yes. For sure. Um, but yeah, that's a beer. Mm -hmm. let's, uh, let's get into what HBO has to offer. Yeah. Um, as far as what HBO has to offer, they actually, um, I mean, they have a ton. It's largely movies. You can spend all day just going through all the movies that they have. And there's so many great movies, Best Picture winners, um, Great foreign films, you know, bad movies, um, but they've got a whole thing for like the Turner Classic Movies, which is a channel on TV, but now you get to watch that on HBO with no commercials or anything, and that has just a crap ton of movies that I can spend all night listing off. Um, they also have the DC Universe, which is super awesome, because that means they get, you know, most if not all the DC movies that are coming out and a lot of the classic ones um, although a couple of them missing that I thought was kind of funny yeah they don't like they, they're slowly implementing more and more DC stuff as, yeah. they, as they're going along they just haven't gotten them all yet mm-hmm mm, that's nice mm-hmm <laughs> um, but yeah so it's got DC um, it's got a Cartoon Network channel on there, which is, <laughs> which is cool. super awesome. It's a lot of the, uh, like, 2000s shows. <laughs> Definitely. Um, and then some of the early 2010 shows, too. Mm -hmm. um, but super nostalgic for, for us, because this is the stuff that we grew up on. And oh, yeah. All the exactly. cartoons that we used to watch. Mm -hmm. um, well, not all of them, but a decent chunk of great cartoons. Um are on there. Uh, and then, I think most importantly, out of everything, uh, they have a vast majority of the Studio Ghibli movies, mm -hmm. which, I mean, if you're a human being, <laughs> you know that you Studio know at Ghibli least, movies... You know at least one. I mean, yeah. Maybe not uh, all, but you know some. Yeah. And everybody loves at least one of them. Mm -hmm. True. Probably because that's the only one they've seen, because... Uh, don't not love any of the ones that I've seen. <laughs> True. Um, but yeah, that's the biggest thing. And then they also have a lot of Adult Swim shows, and uh, they have a bunch of anime from Crunchyroll. So that's what HBO's got going on for it. Tons of TV, tons of movies. Mm -hmm. And, you know, when I say tons of TV, there's like a tons of, like tons of actually good TV to watch, mm -hmm. like good series to watch or interesting series, a lot of, like, really obscure stuff, and, you know, super popular, award-winning Game of Thrones, I mean, you know, crap. Sopranos, Sopranos, Sopranos was on there. <laughs> yeah. um, so, shows that people will pay for to binge watch, <laughs> just because of that, just because of that show. Yeah. Like, they will, they will do a month or two of HBO Max, just to watch all of Game of Thrones again. Like, that's, that's pretty strong, actually. You know? Yeah. Um, but yeah. What do you got, man? 
I got like a lot of the TV shows. So I mean like I went into like each of the like the big genres and like the only one I really couldn't fill was the horror one, but there really wasn't very many good horror ones kind of shows yeah. on there. They just seemed kinda kinda bland and kind yeah. of like very I mean, um very lackluster and I was like, Yeah, I'll just put these ones on there. It yeah. Seemed, seemed interesting. I mean one probably the best actual horror thing that I can see on the list that you got there is might be Promise Neverland. Promise which Neverland is an is anime. Good. Well Lovecraft Country is actually pretty Lovecraft good. Country, uh, Lovecraft yeah, yeah. Country is actually pretty good too. Uh Phantasmagorias is really interesting too. It's a bunch of uh like Spanish artists doing oh, a bunch of different folklore yeah, 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 folklore yeah, from seen, like, yeah. I it's saw that while I was drawing really, it. really cool. Very interesting. Um, especially the way like they they change like how everything is told. Everything it's really interesting. It's really cool. cool. Uh, folklore is another one, but it's more uh, it's more Chinese um, like Asian like folklore and stuff like that. It's huh. told different ways and stuff like that. Pretty much the same thing as the Phantasmagorias, but but. Chinese and Asian, like Asian countries and stuff like that. That's actually really cool. I didn't and even it, know about that. Yeah. Really um, awesome. But yeah, there was also like, there's also the, the, like my favorite HBO one was from what I watched it when I was like 12. <laughs> Probably shouldn't have. But Spawn. Spawn. Tom McFarlane. Tom McFarlane with Keith, da Keith David as, uh, as Spawn, which was so cool. So cool. So cool. The animation for that show is so so rad too. Exactly. I mean, like the seasons only have like six, maybe seven episodes each, and there's three seasons, but they're but the storytelling in it is so well done. Like you just keep you just it just keeps you engaged the entire time. Right. It's it's like re, it's like watching a comic book unfold in front of you, and it's just so beautiful, and vivid the way that the story's told. It's nice. Yeah, that's pretty awesome. Um, yeah, I have been. I initially got into it because Spawn. I mean, Spawn just is one of the coolest looking comic book characters mm -hmm. of all time with the freaking red keep coming down with the like pointy bits and like the mask is cool, the costume's cool, guns, fire, yep. all sorts of cool stuff. Um, so, like, the animated part of that was what really drew me in, and then just learning about Spawn and a lot of the the cool stuff that they do in that show. The storytelling is fantastic. Yeah, and like watching him learn, like as well his as his like his powers as well, just so cool. Yeah, like going away from the guns and to using those is just really cool. Yeah, yeah. But it's cool to see at the beginning of the, <laughs> the series when he's just he just shoots people left and right. Yep. Mm -hmm. They're um, not they're not stingy about the the blood. And oh, the, well, it's on HBO. You didn't have to. Yeah. You don't have to worry about that. It's HBO. Uh, no. Um, for action, there's Doom Patrol. Doom Patrol Doom was Patrol? good. Doom Patrol. Doom Patrol was good. Um, Primal, which is uh, the uh, it's on Adult Swim. It's the Caveman one uh, by Kenny Tarkovsky, <laughs> uh, who did um, Dexter's Lab, and Tibbet. The caveman that was brought back in Dexter's Lab is actually the same caveman oh, that nice. is in Primal. <laughs> uh, Genny Tartakovsky actually confirmed that nice, himself, that which is really cool. Really awesome. uh, very bloody, very gory, uh, great storytelling, and it's really, really good. Really nice. good. I really like it. Um, I hope more comes out. Yeah. Uh, Young Justice is a good one. Mm -hmm. uh, Batwoman, very sad that... Um, what's her name left? Oh, uh, Ruby Rose. Ruby Rose, yes. Yeah. Very sad that she left. Yeah, too um, physically demanding, I guess. And yeah. She heard well, I mean, yeah. During, during the filming. Yeah. So. Um, still a great show. The the series that's continuing now with the new being recast is is uh, is um heard I've heard good things. I haven't watched it yet. Mm -hmm. Um, Batman animated series, always good, always good. Yep. Teen Titans. The old like two thousands yeah. cartoon two thousands. Oh, no, no, so uh, Snowpiercer, the show is really good. I've uh, only seen a couple of episodes, but yeah, it is really interesting. The like the way that they're the way that they're telling the story and like how it's like unfolding and like different like 
how different trains like are doing yeah. something. It's very cool. Sure. Uh, I really like the way that they're go they're, they're telling the story in it. Yeah. Oh, I like that it's expanding the whole like lore of the exactly yes. of the movie. They're that, expanding that they're the movie ex set up. They're expanding yeah. more, which is just so cool. Yeah, that's really exciting for a movie that didn't really get a whole lot of hype until it was on Netflix. Yeah. You know, which was very and sad because then, that like, movie was still really good not, too. Like super high on the radar. Yeah, that movie for was lot of people. That movie was really good too. Like it was, it was really very good. super underrated. Definitely. Um, plus, it's got Sean Bean. In it. Yeah, Sean Bean. Sean Bean. Um, <laughs> no, that's the movie. Oh, the, yeah, that was. No, I was talking about was the movie was underrated. Well, yeah, the movie was underrated, but that Sean yeah. yeah. Bean, Bean is in the show. Sean Bean's in the show. <laughs> Um, Jennifer Connelly is also in the show too, which saw, also yeah. was also kind of helped me watch that show in the first place. <laughs> a little motivation for you. Just a little bit. Yeah. Um, the original Powerpuff Girls, mm -hmm. um, Watchmen, because that show was great. I Wonder haven't watched it yet because it's on HBO Max and I still have not actually subscribed to it. Um, and for the last action one is um, Wonder Woman. Wonder Woman. Gotta love that classic Wonder Woman. Oh, yeah. It is a classic one too. Like, mm -hmm. Legit. Um, yeah. Um, and there was comedy for uh, there was Black Dynamite, Black Dynamite, Robot Chicken, oh, man. Barry. Oh, Barry's great. The Boondocks, great. Chappelle Show, Boondocks. Uh, Friends, uh, Harvey Birdman, Attorney at Law, which is a super underrated show. Super underrated Rachel. adult swim show. Uh, <clears throat> Stephen Colbert is uh, one of the voices of the boss. Uh, Lucy, Daughter of the Devil, <laughs> which we were talking about that the other day. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, uh, Whose Line Is It Anyway? Uh, and Sea Lab 2021. Oh, man. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, yeah. And that's that's just like tip of the iceberg because, like, Key and Peel's also on there. Flight of the Concords is also mm -hmm. on there. Tenacious D. Your like old school original episodes that they they made, super weird, um, but absolutely classic. I tried to limit the list. <laughs> <laughs> I I really I didn't do that much limiting. Um, I tried to keep it. To, I tried to keep to a minimum so that I don't go overboard because I will go overboard and I'll just. We always go overboard. It's it's bad. It's bad. Yeah, we try to keep to a minimum, but it doesn't really happen. Um, Aqua Teen Hunger Force. Yes. I mean, that yes. is one of the weirdest shows. Um, one of the Adult Swim shows that I was very disappointed wasn't on there. Venture Bros. Yeah, it wasn't on there. Johnny Quest is on there. That, which yeah, is what Johnny Venture Quest Bros. Is, is based off of. <laughs> but Venture Bros. itself, I mean, that show is amazing. Where did I very, see Venture Bros? Very underrated. And it's like, it keeps slick. I think yeah, Venture I think Venture Brothers is on Hulu. That's probably why it's not on HBO Max right now. Yeah. I'm pretty sure there's a couple things that uh, overlap with Hulu on here though. I, I think Boondocks can... Boondocks is one of them. Yeah. Boondocks is one of them. Uh, Rick and Morty. Rick and Morty, Rick and Morty is on like everything pretty much. Yeah. <laughs> Finally, it used to be freaking impossible to find Rick and Morty anywhere <laughs> exactly. except for on Adult Swim, yep. and now it's like, oh yeah, just sign into a subscription service, and you can probably watch Rick and, Rick and Morty. Yep. Uh, for drama, there's Band of Brothers, The Closer, so uh, Chernobyl, great show, mm -hmm. uh, Erased, which is a great anime, super cool, uh, Major Crimes, Madoka Magica. Oh. You could also put that kind of under the horror, too. <laughs> I could, but, like, I didn't want it because I was trying to separate the two. Yeah. Um, True Blood. I love that True show. Later, yeah. later season's going to kind of get a kind of you, but, you know, it's, it's good in the beginning. Yeah. <laughs> uh, You're Lying April. Uh, Six Feet Under. I used to watch that show with my mom, but I was yeah. here. <laughs> and uh, Westworld. Westworld. Uh, Westworld. The first season is so good. And there are parts in the second season that are so good. <laughs> yes, I can definitely see why people were irritated with the yeah. second season. Yeah, wasn't wasn't my favorite, but you know, 
It wasn't like... They could still, they could still come out with the, the third what season. The third, no, what's the third season came out? They didn't, I didn't even yeah, see Yeah, th uh, the third season came out. I haven't watched it mostly because you guys stopped watching it. <laughs> <laughs> After the second season, I think it put a sour taste in your guys' mouth. Yeah, so. It wasn't great. Well, but, I didn't really keep up on it, and then we didn't have the movie channel, so I didn't, yeah, true. we didn't have HBO anymore, so I didn't really like seek it out. And now that HBO Max is a thing, I just didn't think about Westworld Season 3. No. I didn't even know if it had come out yet, which mm -hmm. I guess it has. So, uh, For anime, there's Berserk, uh, Food Wars, Kill a Kill, um, Roko no Yusha, or Roka, uh, Roka Brave of the, uh, Braves of the Six Flowers, which I've been trying to get him to watch for a while. I have seen um, the first episode I just, of that anime probably four times. I've t I time it very wrong, because <laughs> yeah, I just play it at the, like, the latest point in the night. Yeah. Like, he gets through one episode and falls asleep <laughs> yeah. in the next. <laughs> usually, usually. Yep. Um, but it's a great one. It's like very mystery, uh, mystery oriented. You're trying to figure out who's yeah. not supposed to be there. Yeah. Um, Konosuba. Uh, good one. Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood. One of the best ever made. Which is the best best Full Metal, okay? Yeah, oh, yeah, that goes without saying. ReZero. Uh, Bungo Stray Dogs. Uh, God of High School, which is also another, like, it's a recent anime, but also really underrated. Like, yeah. very interesting. It's been on my list. I haven't gotten to it yet. I was re I read the I was reading the manga like years ago when mm -hmm. that like when that was happening. I never thought I would actually get a series, but it's yeah. pretty good too. <laughs> uh, Testament of the Sister uh, Sister New Devil. Uh, I don't recommend this for everybody. <laughs> it's a very edgy, heavy anime. It's very preferred um, for those of you who don't understand that. Um, <laughs> so. <laughs> Go take that one with a with the recommendation with a grain of salt. Yeah, <laughs> I love that anime. It's hilarious, it's wonderful. But that's also the type of anime, part part of the type of anime I watch. So, um, the other things in the the last last one in the horror one is the Death Note. Death Note, love Death Note. Great, always a good anime to watch. Like you never, yeah. there's never a bad time to watch Death Note. Yeah, I've watched through Death Note. Three times. So. Unless you're watching that terrible Americanized version on Netflix, oh, don't, yeah, that don't, was awful. don't ever watch that. I didn't even watch it. I know it's awful. Yeah, even uh, if you, even if you like, even if you know it's there, just don't watch it. It's bad. Yeah, a couple of anime that I wanted to bring up because, uh, like, one is actually going on right now. <laughs> it's a uh, Jujutsu Kaisen. Mm -hmm. um, it's probably one of the most popular uh, shonen animes out right now. And it is really good. Lots of great comedy. Lots of great fight scenes. Um, you know, very interesting, like, you know, combat and powers and stuff. Uh, they have the first, like, the very first arc, like, 12-episode arc. Um, and then I don't know if they're going to get the, probably, they'll probably get the second one after that's done airing, which is coming up pretty soon. Uh, but that's definitely one to keep an eye out for. Um, a one-off, one-season anime that I really loved. Also, as a newer one from last year, uh, Keep Your Hands Off Azokin. Mm -hmm. And uh, that anime is just fantastic. Um, it's about actual like animation and but it follows these characters that are trying to become animators at their school. And, you know, it's just fantastic. Like, the way the... Uh, visualize their imaginations and bring the stories to life and show their process and struggles and everything. It's super awesome. It's a great anime. Um, and then probably one of my favorite old animes of all time, Roroni Kenshin, is on there. And like all of it too. Like even the, the last arc that doesn't really make a whole lot of sense that was supposed to lead to something else but never really did. The movie I think the movie that came out after it to like kind of close the series. Yeah, the Samurai X movies. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, because there's one at the beginning where like it tells them like about everything, and yeah. then there's one after. Uh, the movie after is actually really sad. Oh yeah, I know. I've, I've seen it. It's <laughs> yeah. super sad. Yeah. Like so sad. Uh, I'm not putting that in there again. <laughs> <laughs> I've already linked it like almost twice. <laughs> If you haven't seen our video on Scott Pilgrim, it's not linked below. 
It's not linked below, but if you watch the one of the last two videos, it'll be linked below. <laughs> <laughs> That will never not be funny. <laughs> it's one of our favorite movies. <laughs> it is. It is. Um, but yeah. That, that, oh, and uh, Hunter Hunter is also on there. Yes, yes. Which is another great one that had a conclusion, but because the manga hasn't really gotten that much further than what the anime did almost twice now. Um, <laughs> He's not very timely on putting out things, no, okay? Not at all. He never has been. No. But, uh, yeah, it, the stuff that they have is, is all great. And it's got a great uh, opening song. Yes. And, yeah, great characters. It's great story overall. Great story. Good character development. Very, very nice. Yeah. My, oh, I, put, I, had a I had a category. Oh, animation. Animation? Yes, because I wanted to talk more about, like, DC yeah. animation. Than, DC animation. <laughs> and, like, and Cartoon Network. Cartoon Network stuff. Yeah, yeah, so, like, there was, like, uh, Kid Name... Kid Name... Kid Name... Kid Name... Kid Name... Kid Name... Store. That's right. Uh, Batman Beyond. Yeah. One of my, like... Uh, like, one of my all-time favorite Batman shows. Oh, yeah. Uh, the Harley Quinn series. Which I'm so excited to start watching. It was, oh, it's only been exclusive to the DC so Universe. <laughs> Until DC Universe shut down and, and became uh, comics, became just comics. I mean, so, it's all of DC's comics, like from like beginning to now, yeah. which is really nice. But like, I don't, I want, I want cartoons. <laughs> that was the only reason. <laughs> I, was I mean, they came out with this brand new show that's amazing, and they gave it two seasons. They, they gave were like, two no, seasons, we're gonna do comics. Like, oh, we're not gonna do this anymore. So that's we why everything's up. on HBO Max. Yeah, but I mean, at the same time, it was like. I'm glad that HBO Max is going to continue it. HBO Max has already confirmed they're going to give Harley Quinn a third season. Oh, that's wonderful. So uh, makes me even more excited. Very, to very happy about that. Yes, it's watch wonderful. It. Uh, Justice League and Justice League Unlimited, because you can't never get old, old, old for uh, superheroes. Yeah, um, if you don't have any superhero content in your life, HBO Max has got you freaking covered. It's got instead of like. The Marvel and DCU cinematic universes clashing. Like, you can have the Marvel movies, and then you can have, like, the DC, like, animated movies. Cause or, like, even DC, like, live action TV shows were, are really good, yeah, too. Yeah. Like, like I, I don't, I didn't think I saw Gotham on there. None of the, none of the CW none of the ones CW, on there. So, yeah. That's so, like, thought. Arrow, Flash, so Flash Supergirl, Supergirl. All of those. Yeah, the only thing I saw on there was Batwoman. Yeah. But, like, anyway, even still, but, like, it was still, like, like, go, hey, watch, watch old, like, animation. Like, it's still great. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And the stories are great. It's a lot of the inspiration for what they've done in the movies so far and what they're planning on doing in the movies. Um, Death of Superman is on there. Mm -hmm. um, and just, like, there's a lot of great stories um, in those cartoon movies. And they're oh, fantastic. Yeah. Like, a lot yeah. of them are so good. Uh, uh, Killing Joke is on there, which is so fantastic. Good. I'm sure we're going to talk about a lot of these oh, yeah. in the movies section. I'm so. almost I'm almost done. I only got a few left. Yeah, I'm sure. <laughs> I left li listing those kind of up to you because I know you know which ones would be the better ones. Yeah. Uh, Samurai Jack. Samurai Jack. So good. Courage the Cowardly Dog. Great. Uh, Static Shock. Uh, ben 10. Watch the original first, okay? Before you go to the other ones. Uh, and then Metalocalypse. Metalocalypse, uh, one, of, one of my favorite shows, just because <clears throat> it's a brutal show, a la, like, Super Jail, but it also has metal, and a lot of metal imagery, and great, fun stuff like that. Yeah. And the, and the music is actually good, too. Yes, yes. At least for the first couple of seasons, like, the music's, like, great. I haven't actually fully watched season four and five because I didn't want to watch any of them without watching them in order. <laughs> so, like, as those were airing, I didn't... Oh, wait, no, it's just season four. Season five isn't a thing. Um, but anyways... I got them all on DVD, and then I started binge-watching them and never actually finished them. Uh, it's on the to-do list, okay? It's on the to-do <laughs> list. I got a lot of media to consume. 
so is, much. This is very tiring, okay? Yeah. We have jobs, too. <laughs> yeah. Um, what was another one? Oh, Ed, Ed and Eddie. Yes. It was one of my favorite yes. cartoons when I was a kid. I, I love that show. I loved that show so much. My friends and I would frame, act like the characters at school all the time. Um, let's see. Then there's some of the later, like, really weird shows <laughs> that I kind of got the tail end. Well, it was like the tail end of me watching, like, a lot of Cartoon Network shows. But I have grown to appreciate them more as I've gone back and watched some random episodes and stuff and seen some infographs and, and like, memes and stuff. But, uh, Chowder, <laughs> uh, Flapjack, and Regular Show are all in there. And those shows are wholly memeable and have a lot of great moments in them. They're super weird, super awkward, and it's just, I mean, it's great. Um, also, Adventure Time's on there, so if you don't have Hulu, you can watch Adventure Time on there. That's probably HBO. Yeah. Oh, and uh, Steven Universe. Tyler would be sad if we didn't mention Steven Universe. Uh, that's on there. All, I think all their series are for Steven Universe are on there. So. I, think, I, I think so, yeah. 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 But, uh... Yeah. What, are the, what movies do you got, man? Oh, oh man. <laughs> what movies don't I have? Probably I a lot. There were a lot to choose from. There that. were a lot. <laughs> but I did kind of uh, narrow it down by each of the categories a little bit. I kind of condensed. Otherwise, this would be another hour from this point <laughs> and not just like maybe an hour long <laughs> but um, uh, out of the DC movies they have a lot of the uh, Batman movies uh, most notably the Tim Burton Michael Keaton Batman movies which are our favorite Batman movies best Batman um, and then the bad Batman movie Batman and Robin that's uh, the worst Batman <laughs> it's, it's, it's so bad <laughs> It's so bad. But, um... And then they have Batman Begins and The Dark Knight. But not The Dark Knight Returns. So well, at least not the, <laughs> the Nolan Dark Knight Returns. They have The Dark Knight Returns animated movie. Animated movie. Which, which has no, nothing which to do with the Christopher Nolan movie at all. Still great, Actually, though. better. Still great. Definitely need to watch that. Yeah, yeah. Um, then Birds of Prey. That one we'll link in the description, because that's an earlier video that we did. Um, that was enjoyable. Uh, Constantine. Oh, yes. Another great Keanu Reeves movie. One of, just, it's kind of a weird one, but it's great. At one point I had five DVDs of that, five DVD copies yeah, of that movie. I don't understand. I have no idea how I got all of them. I was like, <laughs> why? <laughs> I don't understand, like, where they all came from. Right? <laughs> They just started multiplying. Exactly. You know, people just like, hey, here's my collection of movies. <laughs> I don't need them because I have the internet. I do like movies. Yeah. I'm a really big collector. <laughs> yeah. And Constantine was a popular one among those movie collections that you received. Mm -hmm. And probably bought one, if not two copies yourself. I think so, yeah. Yeah. I wouldn't be surprised. Um, Joker. I don't know the movie. Yeah. I'm not in the description. We did a uh, some video once. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> um, one of my favorite DC movies, V for Vendetta, is on there. Yes, great it's such a great movie, and so quotable and super awesome, violent, just all around great movie. Mm -hmm. um, Watchmen, the movie, the movie. Um, it's not the best adaptation ever, but. It's still a really entertaining movie, mm -hmm. and I don't know. I really liked it. I like the style of it. Mm -hmm. I think this was a, a really good movie. Very reminiscent Snyder. of like a lot of the comic books, there, like like what was going on in the comic comic book. Yeah, it was nice. Yeah, yeah. I liked. It. I enjoyed it. Mm -hmm. They uh, they tweaked the ending because the ending in the in the graphic novel was a little weird, but um, yes, giant octopus. <laughs> It was supposed to represent something, okay. It was representing the Cold War and, like, nuclear war and nukes and yeah. stuff like that and how stupid people are, but... Yeah. What? <laughs> and then uh, the best movie in the current DC 
uh, universe, Wonder Woman. Uh, yes. That's just uh, by far. <laughs> by far. None of the other movies have really been able to hold a candle to it. Aquaman. Got Aquaman got pretty close. Aquaman got pretty close. I wouldn't say pretty close. But it was. It's like, it, it was. It like, was good. It, it, it. You know, like, was almost able to like touch the heels of Wonder Woman. <laughs> but, but I mean, it's Aquaman Wonder at the same time. Yeah. Like, <laughs> yeah. But yeah, Wonder Woman's great. Yeah, Wonder Woman is fantastic. So that's what I saw in the DC movies. Um, I don't know if there were any other DC animated movies that you wanted to bring up. <sighs> We already mentioned Death Superman. Death Superman, like... Killing Joke. Yeah. Was the old Batman the Animated Series Mask of the Phantasm on there? I don't think it was. I don't remember if that I was don't remember if that was I didn't spend too much time like, scrutinizing them because I haven't seen the majority of them. Yeah. Um, they didn't have uh, Death in the Family. Oh, that was good. That was good. Uh, I've only read that comic book, though. I haven't actually seen the, the movie. <laughs> but I love I love how largely faithful they are to the comic book. They're mm -hmm. almost a direct adaptation. Yeah, they, they don't take very big liberties with it. It's it's really it's really nice. Pretty much seeing from the comics to the to the screen. It's very very rewarding. Yeah. Um, yeah. If you can't think of anything, no, you really. Saying, I mean, I didn't really look too much through the movies. Yeah. No. That's, I was mostly on the TV shows. Usually, that's usually my job. <laughs> um, you know, I I figured you might at least take a look. But I think he saw Spawn. I saw Spawn. Got and really then, distracted. And then like, he like <laughs> just went. Yep, all right, TV's done. Back to back to Spawn. I'm gonna watch this. Yep, I watched uh, the entire first season <laughs> in, the first, in one night. Yeah. Um, all right, probably the biggest category for movies um, that <laughs> I could get into. Uh, they have the whole turn of classic movies. A lot of these movies are either best picture winners. They have actually a like little subcategory for that. They have a lot of the best picture winners, which include like Citizen Kane, The Departed, uh, Lord of the Rings, Return of the King, uh, and just so many others. Uh, Gone with the Wind. I mean, yeah, I could list best picture winners all night if I had written them all down. But um, they have a lot of uh, great movie series too. Um, they have the first three Die Hard movies, which are awesome. You don't need to watch any of the ones. Just watch those three. Yeah, um, they do have the whole Lord of the Rings trilogy. Um, they have the whole Hobbit trilogy, which, I mean, love it or hate it, there's some there's some good stuff in there. There's, stuff there's good there's good there's good stuff in there. There's just a lot of walking. Yeah, I mean, way so more than Lord of the Rings. And way more Lord. Of, way more than Lord of the Rings. Best picture. Way more than Lord of the Rings. There's uh, so much just, more action yeah. in Lord of the Rings than. I just feel like The Hobbit would have been a better movie if it had just been like maybe two movies at most. They didn't take liberties with the book as much as they did. Mm -hmm. uh, I thought a lot of the changes were wholly unnecessary. Yeah. And most of them were there probably to just fluff the story and make it three movies. So that they can make it a trilogy like The Lord of the Rings. Damn you studios. Yeah. yeah. <sighs> but, uh, end rant there. <laughs> uh, um, they don't have all of them, but they do have uh, Mad Max 2 and 3, and then they also have Fury Road. Two, two, wait, three is Thunderdome. Three is Thunderdome. Oh, okay, two well, then is you're Mad fine. Max Road Warrior. Road Warrior. Yeah, then you're fine. And then the first one's the Road Warrior. Yeah, that's not on there. You don't, the you, don't need, as... you don't need to watch that one. It's it's basically just a whole lot of nothing. Yeah, it's a lot of walking, uh, car driving, and it's it's seemingly more modern. Yes. Um, uh, I guess it's like immediately post apocalypse. I guess. Yeah, it's like right after everything happened. Everything is like kind of transitioning into what it's what it becomes essentially. Yeah. And then Road Warrior is like just boom. All right, way more apocalyptic. And then Thunderdome is just like boom, over the top apocalyptic. Plus, Thunderdome was the best one. <laughs> yeah, out Thunder of those three, well, I mean, until Fury Road came out, Thunderdome Road was the out. best one. Yeah, I mean, how could you forget Master Blaster, Master Blaster. and Tina Turner? And Tina Turner. <laughs> I mean, come on, like. One man, two men enter, two men enter one, one man leaves. It's endlessly quotable. It's got some just wacky, crazy, weird stuff going on. 
a great movie. Uh, it is a great Fury movie. Fury Road. Also a great movie. movie. Visually one of the most incredible movies. So much practical effects in that movie. So like, many practical effects. There's a, there is also visual effects in there, but like not nearly as much as you think. Yeah. Which is really no, cool. I really, in terms nice. of in terms of uh, and stunts, like all the stunts are largely done. Uh, Charlie's their own did a ton of her own stunts. Did some of the driving. Like did a lot of stuff for this movie. Oh yeah, she's uh, very dedicated. She's a great actress. Very. Uh, and she's super badass in this movie. Oh yeah, super badass. Um, the first two Bill and Ted movies are on there. Um, the three Blade movies are on there. All you need to do is watch the one. Watch one. Yeah. Don't watch two or three. Unless you really want to watch two, then that's two's, fine. Two's alright. Three two's is where it gets way goofy. Mostly yeah. because of Ryan Reynolds. <laughs> <laughs> and the story is just ridiculous. It, it really is. Although that, all that, that goth chick in that vampire shop was really hot. Is, you're not wrong. There. <laughs> you're not wrong. There. Like I will watch that. Sh I will watch that part <laughs> over and over again. Just, just turn on the movie, watch that scene, and just be like, "All right, the movie's over." I'm um, good. I don't yeah. need to watch any of this other crap. <laughs> <laughs> uh, they've got Blade Runner: The Final Cut and nice. Blade, Blade Runner 2049. Uh, Not as good, but still worth watching. Still worth watching. It's uh, visually, again, a stunning movie. Mm -hmm. Um, it's got all the Alien movies, which, I mean, one and two are absolute classics. That's all you really need to watch. That's all you really need to watch. Um, if you want to complete the series, you can watch three and four, but it's not, not necessary. that great, and four is definitely not that great. Um, it does have the two Alien versus Predator Wasted movies. potential, wasted potential with three. Oh, totally. After totally. the end of two, there was some wasted potential in three. <laughs> Squandered it. Uh, yeah, we could, uh... I mean, dude, we might do like an alien over might, video at some point. We either that or like or like wasted potential in movies. Yeah, in sequels. Yeah. In sequels. <laughs> oh man, Godfather Part Three. Um, oh god, a movie that probably didn't even need to exist. Probably not. No, you know, honestly, no, probably not. Yeah. God, that was so bad. Yeah. Um, uh, something I was really excited to see was that they have ton of old Godzilla and Kaiju movies. Yeah. Um, they got the original Godzilla King of the Monsters. They got the one that we reviewed. Mm -hmm. uh, the more recent one. Um, they have the old King Kong movies. Mm -hmm. um, they have the Ghidorah movie. They have the Rodan movie. They have Godzilla vs. Mothra. They have Godzilla vs. Mechagodzilla. Um, I mean, just... There's so many. There's a lot. So if you like old, campy kaiju movies, so this is a great place to find those, too. Um, Godzilla King of Monsters. Link down below. <laughs> Link down below. Link in the description. But you don't really have to watch that. <laughs> you don't, yeah, you don't necessarily have to watch them. Um, <laughs> if you haven't already, it's... <laughs> it's our, it's our <laughs> worst one. Yeah. It's our worst slash... Absolutely best video we've ever made. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, moving on. <laughs> moving on. Um, and then there's a ton of other great movies on here. I'll kind of just uh, list them if you want to say anything particular about any of these movies. Feel free to interject. But um, Best in Show, great comedy mockumentary. Um, Clerks, I freaking I Kevin Smith. Um, other Kevin Smith movies are on there too, like Chasing Amy and uh, Jane Silent Bob Strike Back. Uh, None of these streaming services have Dogma. I know. What the heck is up with that? Like I, I, I looked. I specifically looked on like all these ones for Dogma, and not one of them has it. And you know we would have mentioned it other than when we mentioned it <laughs> offhandedly in one of the other videos. But we would have definitely movie. talked about it more if we if it had been on any of these streaming exactly. services. Exactly, it's a great so movie. So seek that one out. I highly recommend Dogma. You could rent it, probably rent it on Vudu or Amazon Prime. Yeah, but probably. Like, I don't even or think it's on DVD for two dollars. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. You know? But dude, it's totally worth it. It's a great movie. Plus, it has a lot of religious insight. 
Yeah. And like you can look, you could further research it if you want to. Mm -hmm. But like it's really interesting. He I actually mean, in did the research for this. Scene, you have somebody who is a literal angel that has fallen from grace and he talks to a nun and convinces her that God doesn't exist and later on by in using the scene, by using by using the Alice in Wonderland story about the uh, the like the carpenter and the walrus. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, but then you see later on in the scene as uh, she's just hammered and like <laughs> in the airport and stuff. It's hilarious. Mm -hmm. um, the old Dune movies on there, which the new Dune is coming out oh. soon, and I'm super hyped. Yes. Um, with the way that like they're talking about it, that yeah. it looks, it sounds like they're gonna do a great job, which I really hope yeah. they do, because the Dune series is very detailed, and oh, people think that like, like people thought that Game of Thrones was detailed. Oh, and complicated. No. <laughs> and com yeah, no. <laughs> Read Dune and then yeah. come back and talk yeah. to me about that. Like I, uh, like I've gotten through maybe two books, and I was like, oh. my god. <laughs> I read five. Dude, yeah, no. Five dude, like, oh, dude at, least, at least four. I may have read five. I, I How, I'm like, is think like, the last like... one I read was God Emperor of Dune. Oh, Jesus. Which, um, it, it, takes a, it takes a drastic leap in time <laughs> and gets just really weird. It's still really interesting, but I can't really say that at the time I read it, I really understood what was going on <laughs> at that point. Same, same. Like, it, I, w I understood the story aspect of yeah. it, but I didn't understand so much of the philosophy and, you know, like, all the religious undertones and just everything going on in those later books. The first two books, yeah, followed those pretty well. I've watched a lot of breakdowns on... Yeah. Those, and Dune is one of my, like, the first Dune is one of my favorite books that I've ever read. Mm -hmm. um, it was really good. Yeah. I, I definitely would read it again. But anyway, so <laughs> the upcoming Dune um, looks like it's going to be really faithful to the original book. Um, this Dune is fairly faithful to the original book, but it's super weird. And if you want to see Sting look really, really weird and, like, kind of creepy. I mean, he's playing a bad guy, so he's supposed to kind of look creepy. But, yeah, he's, like, disturbingly creepy. And then the guy who, the, the Baron, like, is just disgustingly gross yep. looking. And, yeah, it's it's a super interesting movie. Mm -hmm. um, if, you're, if you like really weird sci-fi, I highly recommend checking out Dune. Um... But moving on from that, because that got a little more uh, attention than I was expecting. <laughs> Sorry, I really like I really like, I really like Dune. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> and I should have expected it, but I just, for some reason I thought we were just gonna be all like, "Dude, great movie." Moving on, but we didn't. Yeah. Sorry, we're still. Not. <laughs> <laughs> a lot of old Charlie Chaplin movies. Yes. Uh, if you like that silent era movie, and then even some of his later ones, um, like The Dictator. <laughs> um, so good. Uh, or The Great Dictator. Mm -hmm. The Dictator is a totally different movie and it's significantly worse. <laughs> Very true. Um, but yeah, a lot of classic Charlie Chaplin movies like The Kid and The Great Dictator and so many others. Um, one of my personal favorite movies from when I was a kid that I didn't totally get then and then I watched it later on and it stuck with me even more, uh, High Fidelity. Great John Cusack movie. Mm -hmm. Um, about like relationships and stuff, but it, a lot of music is uh, used in it, and it's got one of my favorite Jack Black performances outside of School of Rock and Tenacious D. So definitely worth checking that one out. Good movie, great movie. Oh, absolutely. Uh, two movies we've definitely mentioned on the channel before: Shaun of the Dead and Hot Fuzz, both on there. The first two movies in the Cornetto trilogy, totally worth watching. Absolutely mm -hmm. fantastic. Um, both Kill Bill movies were on there, which also for Tarantino, Reservoir Dogs, which was also on Hulu, Hulu? I think. Hulu, yeah. Yeah. 
or maybe it was on Amazon. I don't know. These uh, streaming services are starting to just kind of blend together in my head now. Yeah. <laughs> but, uh, and then Pulp Fiction is also on HBO. And that's probably my favorite Tarantino movie. Like, right there with Inglorious Bastards. Mm -hmm. um, let's see. Oh, Mrs. Doubtfire was on there. Love One that of movie. my absolute favorite Robin Williams movies outside of maybe Hook. Hook was a good one, yeah. Hook was probably one of my favorites. Um, along the mockumentary, same same uh, director of the mockumentary Best in Show, and this is Spinal Tap. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> if you like the mockumentary style and, you know, can kind of get an idea of what 80s music was like, hair metal specifically, mm -hmm. um, this is Spinal Tap is absolutely hilarious. Oh, yeah. and the whole time. Yeah. Um, I actually cut off the Turner Classic movies at that point. Um, I did go through, and there are other movies beyond the letter S that I thought were great, but you, know, you kind of get the idea of, um, like of the, what they have to offer through a lot of those yeah. and a lot of what we've already talked about, especially exactly. with like Best Picture winners and all yeah, that stuff. Exactly. exactly. Um, uh, something I didn't write down, but I'm pretty familiar with off the top of my head, is they have a lot of um, the Criterion Collection, which is a collection of like movies that the Criterion group or company or whatever. I can't remember exactly what their whole deal is about, but they're basically like uh, cinematically significant movies for one reason or another. Um, and that includes a lot of uh, the Japanese director Akira Kurosawa's movies, mm. uh, which largely samurai movies, but um, movies like The Seven Samurai, which many other movies and TV shows have done their take on that, like The Magnificent Seven is a direct Western uh, reference to Seven Samurai. It's the same story, just set in the Western setting. The Western setting, yes. Um, both the new and the old one. Yep. The old one's way better for way better for Magnificent Seven. Mm -hmm. uh, Seven Samurai is the only real Seven Samurai movie. Although there is Samurai Seven, which is an anime adaptation. <laughs> but that's not on HBO. Neither is Magnificent Seven. But uh, it's actually pretty good though. The anime is actually not bad. Yeah, that was it was pretty good. I remember I found the D V D for it, but I found out it was part two. <laughs> which Seven Samurai is also split into two parts because it's a long it's movie. It's a long movie. But it's really good. good. Like, these day, this day and age, like, a long movie, you know, like, same length as Seven Samurai, but Seven Samurai came out in the 50s. I think so. And, uh, yeah, long <laughs> movies had a different definition back then yeah. than they do yeah. now. Like, Look um, up VHS. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, when you had to have a box set for one movie. Exactly. <laughs> you got two for the price of one. Yeah. <laughs> if you ever watched the Titanic on VHS, you know exactly what we're or, talking about. Or Braveheart. <laughs> Braveheart. <laughs> I'm pretty well, sure Dances with Wolves was one, another one. It was a really long movie, too. Yeah. I'm not entirely sure. Don't quote me on that. I don't know too many of the movies that were doubled up on VHS, because we also had a large... Laser disc collection <laughs> when I was a kid. Um, yeah, talk, about, talk about old. Well, laser disc and VHS are the same age. <laughs> Actually, laser disc was significantly higher quality than VHS. It was like the vinyl of movies. <laughs> but they were just as it was way, way more expensive <laughs> than VHS um, to both create the movies and the actual VHS players. So, or not the VHS, but laser disc players. Um, I've so, only seen one movie off of Laserdisc. I watched so many movies. Like <laughs> Star Wars, I literally watched Return of the Jedi so many times that I burnt out the Laserdisc. Like, it stopped working because I watched it so many times. <laughs> At least that's what my dad told me, because he probably wanted to justify buying the uh, big collector set of it, which, man, I know he sold all his Laserdiscs, or just lost them over time. Uh, when my mom and dad separated, but I'm sh pretty sure if he still had that set, or if I had taken that set, just for nostalgic purposes, 
That would probably be worth some money right now. Probably. I doubt there are many of those floating around. Why not? You know? But, uh, anyways, uh, Seven Samurai, uh, Yojimbo, Hidden Fortress, uh, Rashomon, like anything by a character so If you see old Japanese movie while you're scrolling through HBO Max, <laughs> take it from me, it's probably fantastic. Yeah. Um, yeah, so many great movies from Kurosawa. Sure. So many, like, flagship movies that kind of defined a lot of cinema making after, like, movie making after he came out with those. Uh, and storytelling, too. Oh, yeah. He's yeah. best star so there's, there's, there's a lot of modern movies that take uh, cues. Uh, star Wars. Oh, was yeah. largely based on oh, yeah. Seven Samurai. <laughs> like, so many of the ideas, like the way lightsabers are used and so many things like that are based off of Akira Kurosawa movies and a lot of story points are based off of that. Um, so, damn. Going from that... <laughs> <laughs> um, also sticking to the Japanese theme, Studio Ghibli has a large number of movies on here. And, I mean, like we said earlier, You've probably seen Studio Ghibli movies. Uh, Spirited Away was a big award winner when it came out. Um, My Neighbor Totoro, Kiki's Delivery Service, Howl's Moving Castle, Princess Mononoke. I mean, there are so many great classic movies. I think there's almost all of them, aren't there? There's a majority of them. I think there's only like a missing like few, like a couple. Yeah, like a couple of the odder ones. Yeah. Like some of the ones like... Um, that weren't technically Studio Ghibli, like the Lupin mm -hmm. uh, movies, but were still like Miyazaki. Mm -hmm. uh, but yeah, any of those movies that you see on there, if it's like classic animation, and like if you recognize the animation for any of the movies, just watch that because it's gonna be great. Oh, guaranteed. Yeah. Oh yeah, easily. But uh, yeah, that's how I condense the movies. <laughs> and, <laughs> There's literally, like, I got a whole other front-to-back list of other movies There's a that lot. I could recommend. There's a good um, amount of movies, and they're Stanley all... Stanley Kubrick has a, a great showing on there with Clockwork Orange in 2001, and The Doors. Uh, I love Stanley Kubrick. Yeah. He makes great movies. Apparently terrible human being, but great movies. Yeah, well, like, terrible things come from, yeah. Yeah, come from great people. Yeah, apparently he filmed The Moon Landing. Uh, whatever. <laughs> moon landing. You believe in the moon? <laughs> Alright, well, since we're done with movies and TV, let's talk about beer. Dude, we went so long without talking about beer. At the bottom of my beer started getting warm. <laughs> I'm almost done. <laughs> I know. I, I got talking about movies so much. Oh, I mean, there are a lot of movies, and they're there all really so good. Many movies, and I, I don't know. I feel like I didn't drum up that much enthusiasm, but I am really enthusiastic about these movies. Yeah, um, we're, I, I we're just kind of got. It may have been a little like droning on. Just because we had to, just because he had to talk about so many, so many movies. My mouth is a little dry. <laughs> <laughs> he needs some, needs some beer. Needs well, some beer. You know, you know what else is on there? Ford vs. Ferrari! Look at the description! <laughs> God damn it! There's gonna be so many freaking like, links in the description! God damn! Uh, uh. <laughs> Our catalog's out not, not that long. <laughs> well, I mean, in terms of number of videos, in terms of hours, it's, it's a little bit longer. Yeah, but, don't, uh, don't look at that. Just don't, <laughs> like, don't pay attention. <laughs> look at the look at the video. You can listen to it like it's a podcast. You exactly. You don't have to watch. You don't have to watch us. Yeah. You have to listen to us. It's, we're it's fun. we're funny apparently. <laughs> That's what people tell me. People tell me we're funny. Yeah. <laughs> if you don't think so, then you comment below, and then we'll proceed to ignore it. Um, I will yeah. read it. I will read it. Bet you believe I'll, I'll read it. We probably won't care. <laughs> <laughs> um, anyways, this is a beer. We're drinking it. It tastes good. Um, some information about that beer. <laughs> it's by New Belgium Brewing. Uh, you may know them from such beers such as Fat Tire. Mm -hmm. 
And that's mostly. And that's <laughs> about it. All I can think of. That's like the most other than, other than the have. other Voodoo Ranger ones. Yeah. Um, they have a line of Voodoo Ranger beers, mostly focusing on the hazies. This one is just a straight IPA. It's the Voodoo Ranger Captain Dynamite IPA. <coughs> nice. Um, New Belgium's based out of. Now, it says on the can. Uh, Fort Collins, Colorado, and Asheville, North Carolina. I'm not sure which of those two they originated, originated. originated in, mm -hmm. but they're, you know, from somewhere that's not California, so that's kind of a <laughs> that's a, that's a always, thing for us. That's always nice, yeah. yeah. Get, a, get an out-of-state beer. Yeah. Um, they've been around for a while. They make really good beers, to be totally honest. Um, mm -hmm. I've had a lot of their beers, and even though I can't think of too many off the top of my head for some reason, um, it's been a long week. <laughs> <laughs> it has. It has. It's been a long day, man. <laughs> Try to. I woke up early, and it's <laughs> late as the time I'm filming this video. Imp. But um, it's uh, what was it? Six point seven percent. Seven point seven. Seven point seven. Oh, that's even better. Imp. Yes, uh, it is. So. Eking up a little bit higher on that alcohol scale, mm -hmm. which, yeah, uh, I'm liking that. I'm okay with that. Oh, yeah, easily. I, I don't drink as much during the week now, so, uh, you know, when we do these videos, it's kind of like one of my binging days, where I get to actually have more than, like, one. It's nice. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> yeah. But, uh, you know, gotta, gotta work down the gut a little bit. But, um... Same. <laughs> yeah. But... I mean, the flavors, I mean, it smells off the bat. It smells a little bit fruity. Slightly piney, like, ever so slightly. Yeah, you get that pine-like finish right at the end. Yeah. Like, that pine feel. I, but I mostly get, like, that citrusy hop flavor. Oh, yeah. Like, like that citrusy hop on like, what's like, like, like a, like a, what, like? like more towards more lemon. Lemon. Yeah, not quite as, as not like as lime. Not like, not like lime or, like, orange or anything like that. Yeah. But, yeah, definitely lemon. Yeah. Like, it's tart, but it's not, like, over the top. Yeah. Um, on the taste, I mean, it, it tastes almost like it smells. It's a little bit juicier on the taste. A little bit. <sighs> yeah. It's very refreshing. Like, a refreshing beer. It is. It's nice. It's oh, yeah. a good, uh, you know, after work, have a beer. Mm-hmm. You know, not too high in alcohol content, but, you know, get you nice and relaxed if mm -hmm. you're, uh, you know, don't drink as much. A lighter a lighter drinker, yeah. Yeah. Or not as big as us. Yeah. <laughs> we, have to get, we have to drink three to start getting anything from it. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> but, yeah, overall, pretty solid beer. Mm -hmm. um, if I were to rate this one out of five... Uh, maybe like a three and a half, four. Like it's, it's. I want to say like three point eight, you know. But without splitting hairs, I'll just give it a four. It's a solid beer. I definitely drink it again. Um, reasonably priced. I think it was like ten bucks was like for a six pack. Yeah. So it's not like one of those you know crazy thirteen, fourteen dollar yeah. six packs or anything. Uh, New Belgium tends to keep their prices pretty reasonable mm -hmm. in the nine to ten dollar range. So. Yeah, great beer. I'd buy it again. Um, this was, you know, just a random pick for us. So sure. it's nice when we can uh, just grab a random beer and just be like, right, let's drink this, and it's good. Um, there's something that I would go back to. I don't know how frequently. It's not like hitting some of those like super high notes that I look for, but if I was looking for something a little bit more budget and I was, you know, on the fence on what I wanted, I could lean towards this easy. Easily. So yeah, I'll give it a four. Uh, I'll stick close to that. I'll stick. I'll stick with a three. Three. It's not necessarily something I had to go after like all the time, but yeah, definitely like budget wise or like if I was a very indecisive, definitely go with this one. So yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll give it a three. I'll stay in the middle. Stay yes. in the middle. Yeah. And nothing wrong with a three. No, uh, no, no, just, no, no. You know, it's all personal preference. Taste is subjective. Mm -hmm. You may love this way more than we do. Like, yeah. I'm sure there are some people that will give this a four and a half, five out of five. Um, you know, it's just not exactly what we look for in a beer, but 
it's still very drinkable, very nice. Um, nothing like offensive, no weird aftertaste. I've definitely had some beers recently that have had like really it's odd, like, like Timmy aftertaste. Timmy or um, somebody recently told me that it, it just kind of like tasted like old or moldy bread, kind mm -hmm. of. Yeah. Um, not this beer. Not this one. one. No, 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 not this one. Yeah. This one. No, this like, one's nice. nice. This one's nice. So it's nice to go into a beer with like, you know, with no expectations and be. Satisfied. Mm -hmm. so sure, sure. I feel like I don't get that quite as much on random picks like that. Mm -hmm. So I, I'm, I'm really happy with it. But uh, and I think that uh, I think we should wrap up the video. I I think so too. Um, we, we've covered a lot. We've covered a lot. We have. We've also like. You could you could kind of judge where we recommend things yeah. on like movies and TV oh, and absolutely. stuff like that. I, I mean. Like, Come on. Yeah. You know um, what you're coming here for. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, if there's any movies uh, you want us to review, just drop them in the comments. Mm. We'll definitely look at them. Always reading the comments and taking yeah. any feedback anybody has, uh, big or small. So, yeah, any opinions whatsoever. Oh, movies, yeah. TV one, last, one last thing. Shout out to one of our biggest fans right now, uh, yeah. uh, Nicolette. Thank Woo! you. You are what keeps our <laughs> what keeps our yeah. our view numbers up. View numbers <laughs> and our motivation. And our motivation. Always, uh, yes. Always giving us the hype whenever always, we see uh, after our video is released. Stop. Always motivating to see that like yeah. that happy smile and like yeah. hear about so it. So I'll do a cheers to Nicolette. Cheers to Nicolette. Thank you. Uh, with that, we close it. So, yeah. And here's a cheers to you. Here's to me. From your life, we shall always be. If by chance we disagree. Then screw you. And here's, here's to, to me. me. Cheers.